Hey guys, Drake Place here. Welcome back to another video on, you guessed it, Undertale Part 6, I believe. Uh, we are still in Snowden. So, um, actually, I think we're going on a date with Papyrus this, um, this episode. Hello, Papyrus! My, one of my favorite characters. So he came back to have a date with me. He's probably really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> we walk all the way to the other side of town and then back to his house. <laughs> this is awesome. My house! That was beautiful. Okay, I know there's an Easter egg here. Okay, so I know if you just keep doing this a certain amount of times. And then, he'll just stop coming. He'll like stay in, you know, I'm gonna stop because he's my friend. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rocker's covered in sprinkles. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't worry, Papyrus. We're not judging you. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Don't touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Wow, being a good, great host is a good workout. Let's make some pasta. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried to bake. He tried baking something. It was like a quiche. Filled with sugary, non eggy substance. How absurd. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary air show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Whoa. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. No! What? Catch that metal and canine! Curses! Oh! Oh, it was tense! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Anyway, let's go up to your room. That's my room. If you, if you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Hopefully. Okay, he doesn't know. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Here we are, on our date. I mean, I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I've snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C on the keyboard for your dating hub. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I the great papyrus will go on a date with you. 
Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. I'm gonna use the same thumbnail as that other one. Reel it in. Population. Crime. Wait, what? This is not a dating thing. Oh, there's a dog. He's close. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. Bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. No! You planned it on! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! This is cool. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily <laughs> keep up with you! You see? I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Does anyone happen to ask me on a date? Behold! Ah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it! No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you. OMG! He is wearing basketballs on his shoulder. This day won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. That won't happen. What? I see, I see. You like caressing your biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? How about we do this? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Yeah, my hat. My hat. My hat! Nah! Well then, you found my secret. Suppose I have no choice. It's a present. Just for you. Don't. Do you know what this is? Of course! Spaghetti! That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But also wrong. This ain't any. This is. What? This is so good, spaghetti! Human, it is time to end this. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! By extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh! Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, Papyrus. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is Han here, or is it just me, uh, oh, shoot. Human, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth, and I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Greek papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, but in instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me! A dark passion, dark prison of passion with no escape! How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these tri trying times. I'll keep on being your cool friend. Act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. Yeah, it would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. What? No! no. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Thank you, Papyrus. You are a true friend. Thank you. <laughs> can I see your bottle body? Yeah. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well... Gotta go. No. Ah, uh, Papyrus is awesome. Action figures of many sexy robots. The bookshelf is filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. 
It's a beat up pirate flag. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. It's a box of bones. Can I go in Sans room like like knock? The door is locked. Ah. Uh, but Sans is just there. There's a painting of a cartoon bone. I feel bad, like I did like Papyrus. But he was cool. Papyrus is awesome. I'm gonna call him. Papyrus's phone. Ring, ring. Snowden. Home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? <laughs> I love this game. It's awesome. So what do we do now? Advance to the next area? Will Sans be there? Yeah, yeah, Sans is throughout the whole game. Except for the ruins. I was like, well, if Papyrus isn't gonna show up, I can call Papyrus. I hate Flowey though. Wait, what? But I already beat Papyrus. Oh. Just does that. I can go back to Snowden, right? Yeah. Am I going to the waterfall? Uh oh. Oh, it's Sans! Yay! What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Going to Grillby's, wanna come? Yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Over here, I know a shortcut. What? Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans! Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Wow! Here, get comfy. Oops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger! Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of Berg. Mm, where'd Grilby go? So, what do you think of my brother? Cool! Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Yes! That describes me accurately. Eh. Forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Scratching his butt. Anyway. Cool or not, you have to agree that Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he, he'll, he went to the house of, of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. That was beautiful. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Sprites are still moving. Sprites are moving. I'm nervous. There, it wasn't working. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. They say some. You say say something to them. They'll repeat it over and over again. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers thing to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? 
Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot can you foot the bill? Just Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. What? That's cool. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Aw, oh, Sans, you you rock, Sans. If only we knew the shortcut he did. I love Sans, he's cool. Sans and Papyrus, they're like my two favorite characters out of all of Undertale. They're just amazing. I don't know what this thing is, though. It kind of freaks me out, because I was like, why were you in the, the Papyrus boss fight again? Yeah, I know. I already know about this. And then we go here. Let's talk to Monster Kid. Yo, are you sneaking out to, to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Why? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh wow. Well. Sounds of rushing water fill you with determination. Yes? Okay. Ooh, so thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.